Hey guys, Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show. Today is Friday, April the 10th, 2015. Tonight I'm going to show you a tutorial how to bulk edit your eBay items and also how to end some of your older items so you can get them back into search and hopefully sell them. Before we start the video, what I'd like you to do is log on to your My eBay. Then on the left hand side you'll scroll down and click on All Selling and you'll have a window like this that lists many of your items. I have about 50 items listed per page and I'm going to show you some tips and tricks right now of how you can easily bulk edit your items. It's a really good time saver. eBay makes it so easy for you but unfortunately they don't really have any tutorials out there to help you do this so that's why I'm here. I'm going to help you. First, you may remember many weeks ago and months ago I told you to end all your old stale listings because they are no longer in search. And it's very easy to find out which ones they are because eBay sends you a little love note. They put, give you a little purple icon here that says eBay note, this listing hasn't had any sales in the last 16 months, please consider revising it. So let's revise these right now. We're not going to revise them, we're actually going to end them. So we click off all the ones with the purple link. That, 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 that. See if there's any others down here that need to go. Mm, I think that's about it for this page. Then what you do is you click on End. Here a list of the items comes up that you plan on ending. All you do is click on End Listing like that. It'll take a few seconds for eBay to process these. The more, you, the more you end at one time, the longer it's going to take to process. It says it could take up to 60 seconds, but it usually doesn't. I figure this is going to take maybe 20, 25 seconds at most. And once all the items are processed, you will get a confirmation screen from eBay, like I'm getting right now. See it? Your listings have ended. Easy as pie. That's how you can tell, A, what listings you want to end, and B, how to do it. Now, let's move on to something else. Let's move on to what I call calculated shipping versus fixed price shipping. For those of you guys who are offering free shipping, this is extremely important. If you're not offering free shipping, you don't have to worry about this. But all my items have free shipping because I want the boost in the search. Now you'll notice on these top three items, you can see the little calculator right here. That means they are correctly listed with calculated shipping. But now these items here do not have the little calculator. So what we want to do is we want to revise all these items in bulk right now. It's very easy. Watch this. Just check off all the items that need to be revised. Then click on edit like that. And it will take a few seconds for this to load. Again, the more auctions you're doing, the longer it's going to take to load. Now, what you do, first, on the left side here, click All. So you see all the check marks are filled in. From here, the drop-down menu, Edit Fields, you will, sh you will select Shipping Domestic, like that. And now, You'll see it used to be flat, same cost to all buyers. I'm going to change that to calculated. This is extremely important. It will help you tremendously in Google search. Now, with your services, you will check the shipping option which you use, okay? I myself use Priority Mail, so that's what I'm going to check off. Then, I will click on the free shipping tab there click on save and close give it a few seconds for it to process and you'll see how easy and quick this is now on the bottom left you will click submit changes and then you'll confirm 
and then eBay will send you a confirmation so you know that it went through and everything worked out good. And there you go. Didn't cost a dime. And what did that take me? 20 seconds? 30 seconds? You know? Simple. Now, let's try something else. Let's just select these at random. Let's say this one, that one. Let's just do those, that one. That one's okay. All right. Let's say we wanted to edit just these two listings here with something besides the shipping. Let's try that. You would scroll down to the bottom as always. It's got a lot of items. All right. Click on edit. Okay. They've loaded. They've populated. You will click on all. Again, edit fields. Now, depending on what you want to edit, it could be something else. For instance, let's pick something here for you guys. Uh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Package weight and dimensions. Let's try that one. I just want to give you guys an idea of how to do various things. First of all, you will select what kind of a package it is. In this case, it's a package or thick envelope. The dimensions you would type in, I know mine by heart, so it's real easy. 16 by 16 by 8. Then the weight, which in this case happens to be 10 pounds. Then you click Save. Okay, bottom left, submit changes, confirm, okay, that's it, it's that easy. Like I said guys, eBay makes it extremely easy to bulk edit your listings, however, they don't have a heck of a lot of tutorials out there. So hopefully this one helped you. If you guys have any questions about these tutorials or need me to make any more, just type in the comment box below and I'll be more than happy to do them. Again, as always, thanks for watching my eBay videos. Next Friday I'll be back with my regular format, my regular eBay discussions, and hopefully you'll be there with your comments and your questions. Thanks for watching. Remember guys, I'm Crazy New York Driver and you're not. Hope you had a good eBay sales week. I'll tell you about my sales next week. Rock on! Thanks for watching. See ya!